Well, in the last part of this week's Tejano Moments, we introduce you to Jose Toribio Lasoya, born and raised here in San Antonio, one of the many Tejano heroes who fought for Texas's independence. Now, in this final part, we're talking about what led up to the Battle of the Alamo and the important role women played as well. GMSA producer Rosalind Jimenez has a story. Upon their return to the Alamo in 1832, Jose Toribio Lozoya and other Tejano troopers were on the road to starting the Texas Revolution. The political climate was tense, soldiers were neglected, and they lacked protection. That ultimately caused many soldiers to resign from the revolution. Tejanos had grievances. They, they had uh, written almost a Bill of Rights and sent to, to uh, Mexico, uh, to the Congress, uh, in, in uh, 1833 saying we lack protection, we need more protection, we need more munitions. There were many reasons other Tejanos chose to revolt. The abandonment of the 1824 Constitution, joining Texas with the state of Coahuila, and the removal of San Antonio as the capital of Texas. If you consider that for the longest time the capital was here in San Antonio and now you have it removed from you and placed uh, almost 900 miles south, which would have been a 30-day 30, a 30 ride uh, and a healthy horse and a good, uh, a good guide. Uh, it just, uh, the promise of the future is not good when that's taken place. Rodriguez says the Hanos felt like they lost their statehood. A series of battles took place, but it was the siege of Bejar in downtown San Antonio that led to the Battle of the Alamo. Then on March 6, 1836, for 13 days, about 180 Alamo defenders fought to stay alive and protect one another against the Mexican army. Their battle cry, Dios y Texas, God and Texas. But they couldn't have done it without the help of almost two dozen Tejanas. The La Soya women were here, the Nevada women were here, the Esparza women were here, the Salinas women were here. They helped bandage, prepare meals, for, uh, and banish the wounded, uh, and they survived it. Rodriguez says all Texans should be proud of the sacrifice and life of Toribio Lozoya because it helps to portray the contributions, accomplishments, and true history of Tejanos to Texas. Rosalind Jimenez, KSAT 12 News. Well, if you didn't get a chance to catch the first part of this series, you can find it right now on KSAT.com. And there's also a free outdoor exhibit called Charlie E. Lozoya Casa located right across the street from the Alamo.